uh, in Georgia performance a whole lot. Thank you. Was it a role that many actresses were going out for, or was it yes. handed to you? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. There were many actresses. And, uh, in fact, they were running behind the day that I went to audition. So I saw many of them waiting in the waiting room. I think I was, I waited for maybe two hours to go in and audition, and there were probably eight or ten girls there when, when I got there. So there were a lot of girls. It was... I don't know, kind of a big victory to get the part. Did you do anything special when you read or talked with them? Well, I I came in and I met and, dis and discussed the character with them once. And then I came back in and I read and I just, I did the scene. I didn't, there are times when you go in and you, you sort of work the scene out in your audition. But I felt that this particular one was going to require me actually going in and giving a performance. And so I did that. Which scene was it? Uh, the scene, shall we say my final scene? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. People are talking about the violence in this film. Mm -hmm. how, does it, how does that affect you? or What do you think about violence? Well, I think... I don't usually go to see movies that are are called action movies or adventure movies for that reason. And it's been a real learning experience for me to see Action Jackson because the violence isn't really real. It's cartoonesque. It's funny. We cheer when the bad guys get killed. It's and it's done in a bigger than life way as as our producer said when the guys punch the sound effects are so strong it sounds like they're punching with whole hands <laughs> on their hands it's all it's all pumped up for excitement it isn't real violence it isn't it isn't real in a way that i think it will create a negative effect you are involved in uh... some of the violent scenes mm -hmm. was that more difficult for you than the other scenes that you had well it's sort of funny too I mean, it's sort of funny when you get a bullet hole made out of latex and blood, and you're like smearing the blood around, and you know, it's the process is funny. The process is is making movies, is creating the illusion, is it, it's kind of like getting to know how a magician does their tricks. Do you have any other films coming along? Yes, I have another film being released from Warner Brothers called Above the Law, and I have a mini-series for ABC called War and Remembrance. Who's in Above the Law? Well, a man named Steve Seagal, who was a CIA agent, and this is his first acting experience, and it's a fictionalized account of some things and some things that didn't happen to him. And in the mini-series, what do you play? I play, the mini-series is a sequel to Winds of War, and Robert Mitchum once again plays the lead, and I play his daughter-in-law. Working with Mitchum, oh, not bad. There's nothing like working with these living legends, these guys that I grew up watching on television, that I was so enamored with as a child, and then I get to actually know them and talk to them and work with them. It's thrilling. Sharon, it's been a brief but very enjoyable interview. Thank, thank you, you so much, and again, I enjoyed your performance well, very thank much. thank you. Thanks.